This is a video that demonstrates how to log information about your recreational trips and catches using the My Fish Count mobile app. Start the app by touching the My Fish Count icon and it will bring you to the login screen. You will enter your username and password. This is the same username and password you may have used on the My Fish Count web portal. Once you have logged in, you can start a new trip by touching the Start a New Trip button. There is a variety of information the user can enter about the trip. Notice the fields with asterisks are required and that the user cannot move to the next screen unless an item is selected. Once a trip is entered, the app will remember the information specified from the previous trip and auto-populate most of the fields. The user also has the option to log an individual or vessel mode. In vessel mode, you can log for other individuals on the boat. The user can also indicate the target species in the fishing method from the options provided. Press the Submit button to create your trip. Now that the trip is created, you are ready to log your catch. The My Fish Count app is extremely flexible and allows users to report as little or as much detail as they would like to provide through a variety of logging methods. The first method we will use to log is the Quick Log function. This is a fast and easy way to provide information about your catch. First, choose the species you would like to log by typing the species name into the search bar. Use the sliders to indicate the amount of fish that were kept and released. If you would like, you can also specify your location by tapping the Location button. When you are ready to log, tap the Submit button. Another method to log fish is through the log your catch function. Tap the log your catch button. Choose the species by typing the species name into the search bar. You can add a photo of your fish by tapping the camera icon. You can take a photo or select photos from your photo library or saved photos. You can also indicate if the fish was kept or released, the length, the weight, the location, the depth fish, where the fish was hooked, the hook type, the release treatment, the reason for release, and any additional information you would like to add. Once you are satisfied with the details you have entered about your catch, hit the Submit button. Another way to log your catch is by simply duplicating one of your previously logged fish. You can duplicate your catch by simply swiping left on the fish that you would like to duplicate. You can also edit or add more detail to your catch. Simply tap the logged catch you would like to edit. If you would like to delete one of your catch, tap the trash can in the bottom corner of your logged catch. Once you are done entering your catch, you can select the trip info to see the summary of your trip and catch. When you are done entering your catch, tap the go to end. Here you will enter the final details about your trip. Select whether the trip was taken and completed. If the trip was not completed, you have the option to select or indicate the reason why. Choose the time away from dock and the percent of time with hooks in the water. You can also indicate if the fish was sampled upon your return. There is also the option to add any additional comments. Tap the Submit button once you have entered the final trip details. A message will appear asking if you are sure if you would like to submit the trip. Tap Yes and the trip will submit.
Now that the trip has been submitted and logged, the app will ask if you would like to start another trip. There are also additional features on the My Fish Count app you might want to explore. The profile has several options that you can choose from where you can add additional information that the app will remember. You can also look at previous trips you may have submitted. The app also will link you to the Fish Rules app. You can also contact the South Atlantic Fishery Management Council with any questions or comments you have about the app. If you have any additional questions or comments about the My Fish Count mobile app or web portal, please use the contacts listed here. Thank you for watching this video and participating in this recreational reporting project.